and welcome back. This is Baldur Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is... T -t -t -t. He is ranked number one in his gold division with 2,416 points, with 241 wins and 222 losses, and he's played so much he has no bonus pool. That is a lot of StarCraft. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest up against TTT. I picture a guy like tapping like the snares. He is the Red Zerg in the the Southwest. The map is Delta Quadrant once again. Still can't find a Terran on this map to save my life. Don't know what that is. I assume most Terran players are just don't like this map. I don't know. can tell you. I like this map, mostly because my early aggression pays off most of the time because they don't have, they, they can't defend that, they just, they just can't defend it. This is, once again, a very creative name, like three T's in a row, how do you pronounce it? You know, T-T-T, that's all I can come up with her. T -t -t -t. You know, Wh what, and Overlord going the wrong way. I selected destructible debris because I wanted to point out to myself that this is debris this time. It is not rocks. I should not call it rocks in case those do go down in this game. And here, I think I do a, a, a smart thing here. I go to the Zelnaga Tower on this map every time. Every single time. So I go up and I go around it. Check. There's nothing here. Because the Overlord went to the close way, and he went the wrong way at that. The second Overlord is coming my way, so I will be able to spot that when it gets there, you know, in, you know, March or so. Good lord, those things take forever until you get the speed upgrade. He's... did he stop producing? Ah, spawning pool, that was probably why. Spawning pool going in the back of the base. Still don't know why Zerg players love to put it in the back of the base, but they always do. Overlord's almost there. He almost knows that there's nobody there. And he queued up the Overlord to go over here? Like, seriously? I can't even imagine how long that would take. Like, the game might be over, and the Overlord's still like, Okay, gotta scout. Come on, guys. Get it together. I'm gonna make it. You know? So here I see, up oh, Overlord coming from over there, but... It's too late now. I already knew where he was. Process of elimination, you guys. That logic does pay off eventually. Spawning pool does spit out. That's it's gross sounding. And since I know it's a Zerg player, I should be going for some kind of block off here. But it doesn't look like I am. I actually went for the supply depot over here, and I'm like, oh crap! I need to block off. That's right. That's right. So I put the SUV there, kind of waiting for minerals, and boom. Bunker. So, ha ha ha. I'm smart. I blocked off. Yes. So, Zerglings won't be able to run inside my base. Unless they take that out first. Overlord is going to be scared off by my one Marine. Of course, that one Marine will kill him eventually. How fast does this guy move? 0 0.47. How fast do you move? 2.25. So, this guy is over 8 times faster than this Overlord. That's insane. Those guys are really slow. He sees my one marine and instantly goes for a baneling nest. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, okay. I won't say that I disagree with it, but whatever. Early baneling nest for the win. Hatchery is on the way along with the lair. So no zerglings out early. What are we seeing here? Uh, nothing, I mean, no, no, no defense whatsoever, so I can attack now with those five marines, it turns out, and probably do a good job, oh, no, four circlings are out, so, now, well, five marines could take that out, so, Lair is now finished, so what's he going for now? Absolutely nothing, why'd you need that fast Lair, man? Spire, that's why you did. Uh ha ha ha, you're sneaky, aren't you? Uh, I hate the fast buyers. Still going for my standard build. I do love it, even when I lose with it. Which is often. 
<laughs> but I, you know, I, I'm trying to get, perfect this one build, trying to get all the mechanics, and I feel like if I change my build constantly, then I won't be able to work on the other things that need to be part of my game. You know, the micro, the, the ability to change afterwards, that kind of stuff. I don't feel like it's going to be uh, beneficial for me to, to constantly change builds, and then the only thing I'm working on is that build. So I'm kind of using this build as a stepping stone, a learning place, so that I know what to do, uh, you know, in the game other than the build order. And then uh, after I got this one down to a point where I'm happy with it, I, then I can start adding other ones to it. That's kind of my philosophy on that. And that wasn't funny at all, so I apologize for that. Spinecrawler is on the way. He is starting to get some defenses. These Banelings are throbbing thinking about that one Marine that they're going to go kill. Because that's the only thing that he knows that I have. Is it? Can he see my guy? Can he? Can he? He sees one Marauder that he does see. Banelings are still out, still throbbing. How much moot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. 20 damage versus total and 35 light. So, okay. Wow. That is not very much damage. So, I'm thinking about a push here. So, I'm like, okay. Salvage the bunker. Okay. Whew. Let's do it. Uh, you know, working my guys up, trying to give them a pep stock. Don't do it for me. Do it for your countrymen! Combat shield just finished, so those marines all got somehow magic combat shields attached to their bodies. It just occurred to me that I did not lower uh, the bar there, so I'll have to add my overlay to this game. That sucks. So I'm coming in. These guys morphing into banelings. How much do those cost? Cost 25, 25, but it does not cost any food. But I have far too much of an army here. He does have five mutilists inside my base. I do have five marines able to take that out. He has 12 zerglings morphing in, along with 10 banelings. Oh my gosh, banelings. So many banelings, but will they be able to finish in time? Here I come in and I'm like, holy crap, there's banelings! Get them! Kill them. They must die. And it looks like he was able to take out all my marines. These mutilists, though, are taking down massive amounts of my SCVs, but I don't really care because I'm like, well, fine, you want a base race? Let's go, man. You got nothing. You got nothing. This overlord did finally make it, by the way. You got nothing! So I'm taking out all these things here. All these broodlings. I hate the broodlings. And I'm down to just my marauders, which of course cannot attack those mutilisks. So he is able to finish the job there. I do have a new rally point set down here. But I know that I've done massive amounts of damage to his economy. And I don't have any missile turrets up, but I'm still sending my army everywhere. I do still on the three racks, it looks like. Uh huh. So I'm moving in, and I'm like, you're not going to keep him there for for reinforcement? Okay. So let me finish off your lair. And down goes the lair. Out come the broodlings. See, now I know that he has nothing left, and I, I have definitely won this game, you know? Hey, the drones aren't going anywhere. The Zergling's popping out. They won't be able to finish anything off. So I'm trying to stim up these marines. No, I don't have enough. Trying to take out all the buildings. I'm like, fine, go for the spire. No more mutilists for you. You're going to have three, and that is it. Three, even if you rebuild. I didn't realize that there were all these drones up here. If I did, I probably would have gone and take them. Wasn't able to take out the spawning pool. Not even close. But he does have enough minerals to start a new base. And TTT rebuilt their base that's no longer being revealed. So he's sending his mutilus back to my base. But I am prepared. I do have two missile turrets up, along with a ton of marines 
ready to take out these three mules. He's heading for the reactor. That's no big deal for me. Because I know that he's down to just three mer the three uh, mulesks. That's all he's got. Spine crawler is being... What do you call it? It doesn't even say. Are they warped in, morphed in? Who's to say? Spine crawlers, though, are on the way regardless. The low amount fact. If your spine crawler finishes before your hatchery, it will start losing health all by itself. Same with this thing. Look how it's it's not quite yeah, look at look at that thing glitch. That's because it's losing health while it's being built. So when I come in, and even though I just have uh, all the marines, I'm able to take this down really quickly. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, that went down fast. But all these mulesks are now set to die. Taking out the last spine crawler and the mule is pretty much at the same time, so now I'm starting to do damage on the hatchery again. And he's got nothing left, ne but neither do I, so that is because I stopped producing. I'm pretty sure I still have stuff. Yeah, I still have plenty of mer minerals and gas. I'm just not doing anything with them because I'm like, dude, game over, please leave. You wanted to do a base race, you lost it because you used mutalisks in your base race, and I used marines and marauders, and my marines and marauders will kill every time, and he tells me a g g, -g game So, t -t -t says j, -j, j And that's the game. So, yeah, base race, don't do it if you're Zerg with mutalisks. It'll take you forever. I can build up one or two missile turrets, and they'll be able to take you out. Look at that. There's two of them, 24 damage. Uh, you know, these were the only two I needed. And I'm like, fine, man. You, all you got is Mulus. I, I made sure you didn't get any more. You got three or four Mulus left. And I'm going to win. So I don't care. So that's the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.